everyone, welcome to a new day of Vegan November and so to start off my day yesterday I made a blueberry smoothie bowl for breakfast. For this I just blended up one banana with half a cup of frozen mixed berries, half a cup of oats, half a cup of coconut milk and two teaspoons of blueberry powder in my food processor and then once it was smooth I transferred it over to a bowl and I topped that with my winter granola. The recipe for this will be linked down below. Some flaked almonds and some goji berries. My winter granola worked really nicely on top of this. It's another great way to use any leftovers of it up. You can top it with whatever you like though. More fresh berries work really nicely. Other nuts and seeds. I mentioned in my superfood powder video that blueberry powder works great in smoothies but it still has all of the goodness as fresh blueberries. And if you wanted to use actual blueberries, you you could just replace the other frozen berries for either fresh or frozen blueberries and you'll still get the same result. For a mid-morning snack I had some oat cakes with mustard baba ganoush. I just took three leftover oat cakes and I topped them with some baba ganoush that I had in the fridge. I'll link to my homemade recipe for this down below and then I also added on some whole grain mustard, about half a teaspoon on each oat cake and then I finished them with some shredded fresh basil and some cracked black pepper. Oat cakes are honestly one of my favourite snacks, plus they're so quick and easy and cheap to make. I really like putting different things on them and I love the baba ganoush which is basically a roasted garlic aubergine style dip that's been blended up. Again, really easy to make and the mustard together with it, it tastes amazing. For lunch I made a red pepper, red lentil and tomato soup. I first finely diced one white onion and then I added that to a pan with one tablespoon of olive oil and I cooked those off until they were soft. I then added in two tablespoons of tomato paste, fried that off before then adding in two teaspoons of pepper flakes and two teaspoons of dried mint. I next finely diced two sweet red peppers and two medium sized tomatoes, then added those to the pan and cooked them down. I next added in one and a half cups of red lentils which don't need pre-soaking, I just rinsed them first. Then I poured in two pints of veg stock and seasoned it with salt and black pepper. I then just leave that to simmer with the lid on for around 15 minutes until it's cooked and you can add more stock in here if it's too thick. I then just served that up in a bowl, squeezed over some fresh lemon juice and topped it with some more dry mint and red pepper flakes. This is very similar to a Turkish style soup which I once found in a recipe book but it was nowhere near vegan so I've completely changed the recipe but the idea is still pretty much the same. I also sometimes blend this up in a food processor to make it smooth. I've shared this on Snapchat so many times but it also works well as quite a thick chunky soup and I never really feel the need to have bread or something to go with this because it's so filling. You can't try this without the fresh lemon on top though because it brings out the the flavour so much. For an afternoon snack I made some Cajun spice toasted cashews. For this I just added a handful of cashew nuts into a medium frying pan on a medium heat with the smallest drop of olive oil and I just gently toasted those but making sure they don't catch on the pan. Once they're toasted and gone a little bit golden I then just added in half a teaspoon of Cajun spice mix and kept shuffling the pan so that they didn't catch but also to coat the nuts in the spice mixture. Once they were coated well I just tipped them into a dish and these make a really great snack. I love to toast nuts with all sorts of different herb and spice combinations. There's so many different ways that you can do it. They're great for an energy boost and I love to just nibble on these whilst I'm working but I also love to put them into small containers to eat for on the go. For dinner I made a kidney bean spaghetti bolognese. I first chopped up one white onion and I added that to a small pan with one tablespoon of olive oil. I fried that off until soft before then mincing in three cloves of garlic and then I added in two bay leaves and two tablespoons of tomato paste. I gave that a really good stir and I next added in one tin of chopped tomatoes, one tin of rinsed kidney beans, a tablespoon of dried mixed herbs and I seasoned it with salt and black pepper. I then poured in half a cup of hot water and once it's boiling I almost mash up some of the kidney beans just in the pan with my spoon but you could use a potato masher and then I left that to simmer whilst I cooked up some whole wheat spaghetti. Once that was cooked I then served the spaghetti between two dishes with the bolognese on top and I topped mine with some nutritional yeast for a cheesy 
tea flavour and then I picked some fresh basil and added that on too. This was actually another accidental recipe. I was recently making up a bolognese and I had some leftover kidney beans so I threw those in and it made the most amazing meat alternative in terms of texture. Which is why I mashed them up as well because it gives slightly more of a mince texture as opposed to just whole kidney beans. I shared this on Snapchat too and I promised that I would make it again in a video. I guess it's like a chilli almost because of the beans but with the flavours of a bolognese it's so quick and easy and cheap to make. It's quickly become one of my go-to meals to whip up in an evening and I know I'm going to be eating so much of this over the winter. For dessert I made these chocolate caramel slices. First for the base I blended up two thirds of a cup of oats, two thirds of a cup of hazelnuts but you could also use almonds and two thirds of a cup of pitted dates in my food processor with two tablespoons of water until it began to stick together. I then pressed that down into a lined bread tin and I took some of my caramel sauce from the fridge. My recipe for this is down below and I added on four tablespoons then spread that out over the top of the base. I placed that in the freezer to set whilst I then took some Moulu chocolate. I used almost half which is 40 grams and I melted one teaspoon of coconut oil in a dish over a pan of hot water and then added in the chocolate and stirred it until it had melted down. I then poured the chocolate over as the final layer, let it cool and placed it in the freezer again to set for one hour. Once it had set, I removed it, let it warm to almost room temperature and then I cut it into slices and I had one of those for dessert. They're a little bit messy to cut up, the caramel kind of oozes out everywhere but hey, that's okay. This is almost a take on millionaire shortbread but the hazelnuts in this give such an amazing flavour and any leftover slices can be kept in an airtight container in the fridge and I would eat them within four to five days if you can even stay away from them for that long because they are seriously so good. And that is it for day six of Vegan November. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can find all of the recipes in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again on Sunday for the next one. Bye!